Okay, continuing me visiting bakers in London that made the Times top UK bakery list from last year. Today I'm going to Arome now. I've actually been to Arome before and so I'm glad I actually went to a bakery that's on this list. Since I've been to Arome, they've opened another branch in I'm not sure where it is. It's not far from the original branch of Covent Garden, but they've obviously got, they've opened another branch, which means obviously they're doing quite well. They're quite well known for their honey and toast, but I'm going to try and get something, one sweet thing, one savoury thing, but it depends what's left there because it is quite a popular bakery. And I'm thinking by the time I get there, I don't know what's going to be left, so we will see. So let's go to a room. Okay, I'm back. What I will say is, if you want to go to a room, try to go during the week because... The day I'm recording this video is a Tuesday and there was no queue. When you go to the weekend, even if you go really early, you have to queue and you'll find that a lot of the stuff sells out a lot quicker at the weekend, naturally, because a lot more people are around. So if you can go during the week, go during the week. I got one sweet and one savoury. There was another savoury I wanted. I put the picture up here somewhere, but it had bacon in it. But look how, look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it is. The thing about Aroma is their things look so visually pleasing, but they also, generally, taste really good as well. So let's get on with the tasting. Okay, so first up, we've got the Nori and Tomato Pan Suisse with seaweed, jam, and tomato confit. Confit, confit. So, yeah. Here it is. It's obviously topped with Parmesan. And you know Parmesan, fresh Parmesan is very fragrant. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of Parmesan, but let's try this. Ah. That pastry is so buttery. It's so buttery and crunchy and oh my God. <laughs> the Parmesan is not, it's not overwhelming like I thought it would be. And you can got the tomato and the seaweed in there. It tastes so good. So, so good. Next up is the apple miso danish. Do you see what I mean about works of art? Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Right, edible works of art. The way the apple is. And that's the art. Look, look at it. No one can tell me that cakes can't be works of art. Yes, they can be. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy this beautiful work of art. Mm -hmm. Again, pastry is beautiful. The apples, I think, are raw, which is quite interesting because I always normally sort of, pay, you know, apple kind of pastries, the apples cooked. But I think, I think, we should have another look. Yeah, the apples are raw, but that's fine. It kind of works, but anyway, uh, so my favorite out of the two, um, got to go for the apple Danish because I'm I'm generally a a sweet person, but they're both really amazing. So if you haven't tried the Rome, definitely go and try them out. They're definitely worth the hype. They're one of the bakeries that are worth the hype. Um, if you have tried a Rome. Let me know in the comments what was the best thing that you enjoy from there. What I'll do, I'll put the adjusters of both branches in the description. I went to the Comment Garden branch today. Until next time, Kate lovers.